dusk awakes, her head spinning, unsure of the time. Elliot stands by the door, waiting for his sister to awake. That rumble, that's my stomach. Gonna need something soon. I'll process the fat. That should keep us both going for a while. Crackling, sound good? It will have to do. As dusk takes in her surroundings, her mind seems to be working faster, her thoughts more fluid. Overnight, she has mutated yet again. Kia ora, Legionnaires, Rikon here, and welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. No hope. Where healthy living does seem to have some rewards. Well, perhaps, as overnight we mutated twice, Dusk gained the mutation smart, which then very quickly turned into very smart. So that has given us a plus two to our intelligence, which is just great in general. So now intelligence is one of Dusk's highest stats sitting alongside dexterity there, which is just fantastic. And it seems like we have finally managed to shake the exhaustion we were experiencing. We've done a lot of sleeping, believe me. So let's pick up that backpack and let's see about getting Elliot something to eat. Actually, before we do though, let's just have a look, Elliot. Is there anything new going on with you here? Right off the bat, no. I don't think so. So it seems like his mutations have settled somewhat. All right, well, crackling. That's what we're gonna be getting onto first because I'm pretty sure all the meat that is here will be bad. And oh, it's 11.30 p.m., not a.m. So we won't have any light, yeah. Unfortunately, all of that is gone. But we still have those chunks of fat, which we are going to have a look at getting cooked up. Although in saying that, mmm, soda can stove kit. We don't have enough charges to get that working. So then, for us to be able to cook all that fat, well, I suppose we don't have to cook it, do we? We could always just give Elliot a few chunks of that. You know what, let's split it. Not exactly evenly, but it's still a split. Hey, brother. How do you feel about, what, 13 chunks of fat? There we go, 15. Excellent, all right. And no doubt he'll probably start to eat that before too long. He might not, so we'll keep an eye on him. See if he uh, decides that he's really hungry enough. But we do have some other things that we can drink with Dusk. The root beer, the fruit wine. It's not super good for our health, but our health is pretty good at the moment. So yeah, let's knock back some root beer have some brandied fruit, which is gonna be good for our joy, and then canned pineapple. Oh, and you can see the amount of calories that we consumed today. It's because we got up during the night and had a fat snack, which uh, really, really helped. Now, I do believe we still have all of those cured hides nearby. Yeah, we do. So, it's not gonna decay. That's great. It will still need tanning before we can actually turn it into proper leather which we are going to need a higher survival skill for us to actually be able to do any of that. So I think for now, we might as well try and get comfy and just look at doing a little bit of reading. So, Elliot, if you'd like to join us, we're going to get settled in this room here. I feel like this will be our study. Yeah. We're going to jump onto our tablet PC. We might actually want to try and store some more of these books first just so that we can get rid of them. It's going to take a bit of time and it's going to take a fair amount of charges for us to be able to do this. But there we go, we got all of that done. We'll just put these excess books on the shelf now and then decide what exactly we want to study first. Oh, we have nothing to re- Hmm, unfortunately, I think one of those books just broke our stored books. We have nothing to read. Um, I believe it was the Italian cookbook for whatever reason. Oh, okay. Those are all of our scanned books. Okay, so something strange has happened here. Um. Something very strange has happened there. Okay, um, well, that wasn't meant to happen, obviously. All of the books that were on our tablet PC are now out in the real world. Okay, and I believe it was the Italian cookbook that showed up as an error for me. Uh, so be wary of that. That's really frustrating because all the recipes that we would be able to just carry around with us are no longer with us. Um, so, or rather, they're back in the form of these books. So, we're just gonna have to transfer all of these to our crafting space. And let's just turn off that screen, eh? Yeah, that's, uh, that's rather frustrating, but hey, what can you do? Not much, apparently. So, let's stop hauling for the moment. 
and again, decide if we want to read something. We'll just be doing so by candlelight now, and I guess we need to get way closer to be able to see. So all the books that we actually can read are down here at the moment, and while I want to learn survival, we don't have any books that will help us with that as of yet. Getting our computing skill up is always going to be useful though, and we want to try and go for books that we know are going to either be neutral or be fun. So we very well could start off with multimedia comp computing, but that's not really what I talked about doing, now is it? I think what we're going to do is leave this candle here, the one that we have lit, so that Elliot can do a little bit of reading of his own. So, Mr. Wood, let's see if we can get you reading your scroll of purification seed. We're going to study that spell, and we'll say until you gain a spell level. Now while he's doing that, um, oh, we can't just swap off to Dusk. Well, that is, uh, that is unfortunate. But he did get some spellcraft levels there, up to level two. And Dusk is already sleepy. Okay, so I think then in that case, we'll just let Dusk rest. And then Elias will be able to kind of continue sleeping. So let's see, if we can go to somewhere, like say here, for example, where Dusk is going to be able to sleep. She's only just slightly tired. But if we just kind of rest here for a moment with Elliot, I think that will put Dusk into a false sense of security and she will try and sleep herself. We may just have to wait a little while for her to fall asleep. Actually, you know an easy way to do this is if we just, oh, she's already, she's already asleep. She's, she's sleeping. Okay. Um, all right. <laughs> well, that, that makes it easy. We can also tell NPCs to sleep when they want to sleep. So, yeah, I think that will also work. But Elliot, for now, let's continue that study. Oh, and it actually didn't take that much longer for him to gain a level in Purification Seed. Still too difficult for him to cast. So we will continue to read then. Wow, <laughs> the time is going by quickly. That is another level in Purification Seed still too difficult to cast. Now he is a little hungry, so we are going to look at knocking back some of those chunks of fat. It will impact his mood a little bit here, but we could, well, is there anything fun for him to take? Not, not right now there isn't. So let's see if you can continue on either way. I mean, okay, that's another level in spellcrafting and another level in purification seed. Apparently still too difficult for him to do, even the druid rune is at the moment as well. And I do wonder if the protective bark and the philoderm may be impacting his ability to cast, but I think him still learning these things is going to be useful. It would be handy if Dusk was around while he was doing this, but what are we going to do? It has actually been a little while since Dusk went to sleep, so let's just check on her. Oh, she's still, she's still sleeping. Okay, all right, we'll leave you to it then, Dusk. I did just notice we do have an mp3 player here with Elliot, so let's go and play some of that music. We're just using the light outside, and of course we are going to have some more chunks of fat. Oh my gosh. Okay, stop studying Elliot. Armored Gargoylosaurus. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, it's hostile. Okay, already heavily protected. The zombified, four-legged dinosaur with a beak and tail has grown even denser bone armor and spikes. It can't see Elliot right now, but oh god. Okay, all right, so here's what's going to happen. We are going to crouch down. Yeah, we're going to go crouched. We're going to go over towards this window. We're going to close that so it can't see us. We're going to turn off the MP3 player, and we're going to really hope that it did not hear Elliot moving around there. Okay, hey, Dusk, hey, we got a problem. And honestly, I think this is the kind of problem that Dusk is going to need to try and deal with by herself. So, first of all, Dusk, you are looking good in terms of tiredness and everything. Did anything else happen to you overnight? It doesn't look like it did, I think. Yay? All right, Elliot, we need you to just stay here. Guard this location. Okay, and Dusk, we need to try and lure that thing away because I don't think there's any way she's going to be able to damage it. Well, now that I've said that, Mind Hammer. That may allow us to damage it. Also, our rifle as well. That is an option. It's a noisy option at that, though. So, we're going to have to think about that one. What I'm kind of thinking of doing here is just trying to lure it away. You know, that would be the plan. Okay, no, no, no. What? Spinosaurus zombie bio-operator, a shiny, thinned dinosaur corpse, 
covered with bloody armour and crackling bionics. It shambles quickly as it hunts. Is that a laser rifle on its head? Is... I'm sorry, what? I... What? <laughs> okay, okay, all right. So, Mind Hammer only works from two squares away. So that's not an option for us, really, here. We could try and continue to slam it against the wall. That... That can work. Um... So, where is, where is the armored thing gone? Was that hallucination? Elliot might have been hallucinating, because I don't see that anymore at all. I, I mean, Dusk definitely sees the freaking Spinosaurus down there, um, but I don't see the armored thing. Hang on, no. Oh, no, it is there. Okay, for a second I was like, oh, it's, it's gone, so it must have been a hallucination. It's not. It's real. It's a real thing, and it can see our current location. So, um, rifle then. It's got to be the rifle. If we can get the longsword into the lifting field, that would feel more accessible than putting it into our pack. Do we have time to do that though? And just because we've been swapping characters, I am going to quick save here. Because I've gotten us into the situation, I am going to get us out of it. Lifting field. Let's see if we can insert that rifle without things going bad. We can. Okay, can we insert the sword into there instead? Well, we're going to have to, we we're going to, have to wield it to begin with. Just put that into your pack. Wait, the Spinosaurus zombie bio-operator disappears. They are hallucinations. They're, a oh my gosh. I love this game. That is an unintended effect. So what happened there is that because we were controlling Elliot, he started hallucinating. When you hallucinate, it does spawn enemies into the game, but their hallucinations, when they attack or you attack them, they disappear. The game doesn't intend us to be swapping between characters and so those hallucinations are still there no matter what but because in our law dusk and elliot are telekinetically connected to one another they are sharing those same visions <sighs> hallucinations my god what hallucinations those were though that is wild i am <sighs> my heart rate is still very high right now okay elliot we're all right but I'm going to want to try and get these things barricaded now. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I think that is a must. Elliot, please follow me if you will. Let's go and uh, wear, wear our rifle here. Um, we don't need to keep the whole pack on us, but we do need to keep some supplies. Uh, so we need planks and we need nails. We don't need all of these bookshelves and we certainly don't need all of the tables that are across the way here. So I think we'll probably start trying to take some of those tables apart. We do want to still try and keep some of the furniture in here for sure. But for now, we'll just start taking them apart. That's going to give us planks. It's going to give us nails. Those are the things that we need. And of course, Elliot is actually assisting us with this construction. So that does make it go all the faster. And let's see about doing some barricades. Board up window. That's what we are looking for here. So let's start from the left and work our way across. Okay, not bad. And we'll keep on going. <laughs> now, we will be losing light here by doing this, but we're getting sheets, we're getting long strings, we're, we're getting sticks. And I think we're just going to work our way around here just bit by bit. We will keep Elliot with us throughout this process, I think, just to make it a little easier. Okay, and we are in need of more planks. So let's stop hauling. Do we need all the tables in here? Not necessarily, but I would like to try and keep some of the furniture intact. So let's go for these bookshelves next day and we'll just crack that. I don't think that's going to give us enough sight. So yeah, we'll just, we'll just get a candle going. They last for a long while. And we're getting 12 planks out of this, so it's much more economical. And let's get boarding. So for seeing outside, we'll be able to do that by using the windows upstairs. I'm not so worried about things flying in through those windows. Ah, okay, and we were nearly there. Looks like we're going to have to take down this bookshelf. And one last window. Excellent. So now we do have the option to board up the doors, but I don't think we're going to want to do that. We want to have at least two exits, and we can get that through these two exits here. We can dig some spike pits around there, like directly in front of the door. I think that might be a good option for us. So let's think about doing that. We are just going to need to go and grab our entrenching tool, which should be down here. There it is. Excellent. So cracking that door open. Let's go and dig a pit right out the front here. Dig a shallow pit. Yes. And we'll just put the dirt out towards the side. 
Oh, of course, no, that, that rather is where we are actually digging it. Okay, so what we can do here, and I think this will probably be a, a, a good idea, is do a line of deep pits across the door, and then we just have a plank to cover them. Um, so we will need to make sure that we actually do have a plank outside, so I'll go and bring those planks out. Oh, and uh, let's get that candle lit. Candle does not want to stay lit, that's, that's understandable, so we'll just use the smartphone and we'll just use the light on that. Continue digging these pits here, and now let's go for the deep pits. Oh boy, okay, well, that took us a while, and we're actually considered to be famished now, so, yeah, let's get back in dusk, and you know what we're going to be doing? We're on the Hilma diet, which is fat, and just fat, for a large amount of calories. Something hurts, stop eating. Yeah, sure, we'll stop at that point, we're engorged. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Take some, some aspirin to assist with the engorgement, but uh, that was necessary. Let's go and try and get some of this dirt out the way if we can. Okay, and Elliot, we will need you to continue to help us here. Yeah, it takes an hour and 30 minutes for us to dig it. Okay, that's strange. We can hear a buzzing sound at the moment. Hmm. So it was kind of coming from over, over the side here. You know what? Let's just take a moment. We'll, we'll head back inside. Elliot, you with us, Chief? Thank you. We are, of course, going to have some more chunks of fat. And let's test... We'll, we'll try and spice it up. We're going to have some fruit wine here. And then <laughs> some more chunks of fat. So we're trying to balance out our mood a little bit. But I feel like nearly 10,000 calories should be pretty good. We did spend a lot of calories yesterday, nearly 6,000. Using that psychic power, it does, uh, it does do that to us. Okay, let's just hope that buzzing noise wasn't anything uh, weird. We do feel a bit lightheaded after the fruit wine. We've got one more pit to dig here. Okay, there we go. As morning arrives, we've finished digging out these line of pits here. So now we should be able to, yep, put a plank over the pit like that. And then once we're inside, we can spin around, turn off our flashlight, and then we can remove the plank just like so. So it works as like a kind of a rudimentary drawbridge. We are going to want to try and put some planks in here eventually. Oh, just all of our books are here. Okay, sure, sure. <laughs> we'll be, we'll try and move those at some point to where we want to actually have them. Uh, we aren't actually tired yet. We're just weary. Um, let's just have something to drink. Some more fruit wine, perhaps. And then actually some clean water because we need it. And I guess before we do all of that over there, it would be good to see what we would need to make the spiked pit variety. Spike pit. Okay, so we need to have four pointy sticks for us to be able to do that. We should have had a lot of sticks drop um, from stripping all these curtains. We did. Okay, so we got sticks there. So something that we can do is that we can look at trying to sort some of the equipment that's around us. But honestly, I just think uh, lighting up a candle and just carving them wherever we find them, that'll do just fine. So, pointy stick. We have five sticks around us here, so let's go and make five of them. And they're really quick and easy for us to make. Can we grab them all? It does look like we can. Okay, so we'll just rock around to the curtains where we know that we've got some, and we'll just have a look at making some pointy sticks. Okay, so with our pointy sticks in hand, spike pit. It'll only take us three minutes and 45 seconds for us to put that together. We'll see if we can do another, and we should have just enough, yeah, to do all of them. So, spike pits across the board, and we can put a plank over the pit there. Excellent! Look at this protection! Now, that's not going to do very much against some of those hallucinations that we saw, but it is still protection, and I am happy that we have it. So, next up, we need to pop over here. We're going to extinguish that candle, and we need to start digging from this position. So, it's going to take us a bit of work to get that done. Elliot is going to be able to assist us with it. <sighs> Dusk, let's get going. Oh, well, it's hard work, but it's work that we've got done. We are in distressing pain because the sunlight is a pain in the ass, and oh, do we have a plank here? We do. We just need to make sure that we have a plank around at all times. And you know what? I guess we could kind we could just kind of leave it like that. Uh, we are going to need a few more sticks to be able to turn this into a spiked pit, though. Let's just uh, go grab a plank just so that we have a way across for the moment. There we go. Oh, okay. 
we got an umbrella. Now, I might not have been wielding it properly before. We are going to try and keep this out just so that Dusk isn't in excruciating pain. Just, you know, doing housework during the daylight hours. Uh, we do have a few sticks on us, but I don't think we have enough to be able to, to work on all of this. We will still see what we can carve up to begin with. Oh, like one, one pointy stick. Well, we'll just leave that there for the moment, and we'll see if we can't try and get some sticks from elsewhere. Oh, actually, <laughs> scratch that idea. Instead of staying outside in the sun for a long period of time, we can just have a look at some of the other bookshelves that we've got. Oh, we were keeping our books up there. Sorry, I just realized how we dragged all of our books across towards the other side. We destroyed the bookshelf that did actually have some of our books in it. Well, we're going to be destroying another bookshelf because it's going to give us planks that we can use to turn into pointy sticks anyway. And we do seem to get quite a few from taking apart these bookshelves. And we've already got so many, so, you know, I'm fine with us doing this. Pointy sticks. Okay, I think 11 will give us enough, actually, especially if we do the one that's by the door. Let's see if I'm correct there. That's our first one done. The next, and let's just remove that plank. And there we go. Okay, excellent. Spike pits over both of the doors. That's brilliant. I'm very, very happy that we've got that in place now. So, we've got some basic lines of protection. Now we have a good chance to just read. Oh, you know what? That saltwater keg. I'm going to want to try and put that into our lifting field if we can. Too heavy. Ah, uh, I thought that might be the case. Well, we can just kind of drag it around for now. As I want to take all that salt water and store it upstairs. We've got these bathtubs here that do actually already have some things in them. We'll just send them across to the bathroom sink. And then we're going to unload all that, all that salt water into the adjacent keg to the northwest. So... All that salt water should be sitting in there at the moment. Yes, dispense. Okay, okay, good. So that's going to stay there for now because ideally what we'll do is set this keg up outside so that it can collect rain for us if and when there is rain. Um, so uh, I probably just want to try and sort out all the dirt that we've got around here first. Wow, that's a lot of pebbles and a lot of rocks and a lot of sand, a lot of things. Let's just try and uh, clear a path, first of all. And the keg will just sit up on the side here. I do believe we have a funnel down here. Indeed we do. So now all we need to do is set the funnel up on top of that. So activate the funnel, place it on top of the keg. Okay, so if it rains, we will start to collect water from there. In saying that, water isn't that far. It's a straight walk to the riverbank for us to get water. There is an orc village there that I am still wanting to... Um, well, investigate. It is a magicalism source. There is a chance that we can find magical things there. But you know what? With the rest of the daylight that we've got left, I want to clamber on top of this radio tower. I want to see what's going on out there in the world. So let's go grab that umbrella. Make sure that we do still have, yep, our long sword with us. We're not overburdened. Okay, Elliot, let's head on out. We'll go out the uh, front here, close up those doors behind us. Okay, we are extremely weary, so we don't want to be fighting. We want to avoid fights at all costs. But we should be able to make it to the radio tower without too much trouble. Looks like we can navigate that way. So let's give it a shot. Wow, that was fast. Uh, and Elliot, I think, is still a ways behind us. We can see a dinosaur to the north of us at the moment. Um, yeah, we really, really lost track of him here, huh? Uh, okay. <laughs> Gosh, here he is. Okay, buddy. Uh, we'll just kind of... Wait a little while here, that you catch up. Be wary of the big beasts down to the south. Here we go. And you did open one of these, right? Yep, there we go. Oh, you're going to climb now. Okay, of course, now you are. And oh, hello. Got some chicks up here. Brown chicks. Could be from pigeons, perhaps. And now, here we go. We're at the very, very top. We have our binoculars with us. And let us see what we can see. Well, unfortunately, we're not seeing any tall structures in the distance here. Well, I mean, there's a few, but there's nothing super, super tall. But in the past, we could only see kind of, well, actually, we couldn't see this cabin here, but we could see up towards that elf workshop. So let's see if anything kind of jumps out at us. Ha! Ah, okay, well, this square certainly jumped out at me. A strange tree in the woods. It is from magicalism, so no doubt we are going to want to try and investigate that. And then, of course, we do have a last man on earth shelter out there as well. 
another thing that we're going to want to look at. And you know, I think we can probably have a look at that today. We've got another evac shelter down here in New Ipswich. And hey, look at that. We have ourselves a green cabin. So where we got that spell for Elliot originally was from one of these green cabins. So we can see that strange kind of smoke drifting from its fireplace. Or perhaps it's not smoke. Maybe the twins are just drawn to it. Okay. Now there's an interesting one that's just caught my eye. North of Lincoln. Let's see what that is in the center of the town there. Fungal flowers. Wow, that is going to spread interestingly. I've never seen them so close to a town like this, but because we're dealing with a mega city, everything's kind of all over the show. Well, okay then. I think we've got a pretty clear path set ahead of us. However, that's probably not going to be something that we're doing today with Dusk, but it's certainly something I would like to do in this episode. No, so both Dusk and Elliot need to rest. We are tired, we're extremely weary after doing all of that digging today. The sooner we get back home, the better. Elliot, yeah, he really needs to rest. Okay, let's go then. And I gotta say, I'm liking the look of this place already. So much more protective. So once Elliot is in, we're gonna go and swap positions with him and we are going to bring that plank back in. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side as well. That'll be our kind of nightly protocol to get locked down. And now, well, I need to decide if we want to have anything else to eat. We still had a lot of calories on the way in today. I, th I feel like that's going to be enough, surely. I'm glad that Dusk can track those calories because she's really spending them. Let's just leave this umbrella there for now. Make our way upstairs. We're going to drop our pack off and we're going to try and see if we can get to sleep. That's the AR-15 like on. There we go. Hiking backpack. Okay, and we can kind of just like rest on top of it here. We can actually use it for a little bit of warmth. Oh, and just thinking about comfort factor. Did we have any other pillows in the other rooms? Ah, there is the acoustic guitar. That we definitely have to try and bring downstairs with us. I did forget. Okay, and that blanket. Yeah, let's go haul that into the other room. This way, look, we can give Elliot something. The backpack, well, that is enough to keep us safe and warm overnight in here. Okay, let's try and call it there. Oh, um, uh, interesting. <laughs> Just as we fall asleep. Use of your powers has led to an insight. Instead of just shoving someone away from your location, you could direct the force orthogonally to knock someone to the ground if you can figure out the proper technique. Okay, interesting. Shove someone to the ground. Force shove. Now I wonder if that's something that we can just practice now. If we have a look here. Okay, well for one, there's a lot of things that have just popped up under Enchanted. Minus star for the Magi. This is known by Elliot Wood. Okay, so these are all things that Elliot has been unlocking while he's been reading that spell scroll. Need mana dust, leather patches, a long stick. That's, that's a magical focus. It's pretty cool. He knows how to make mana du dust as well with the crystallized mana. You know what? We actually have everything that we need to be able to make that. Although the small mana crystal. He's got crystallized mana. He doesn't have a mana crystal yet. But who knows? We could find something like that. Uh, oh, here we go. Under practice, knockdown. Well then. So is that a different ability that we can try and learn? Contemplate your powers and improve your ability to knock targets over. I mean, that could be very useful for getting away. Hmm, okay. Well, I think we're still going to keep on trying to sleep, but we're going to keep that in mind going forwards. Oh boy. And as Dusk awakens, she awakes with another mutation. Narcoleptic. That is very dangerous. That and her mana regeneration is slower than ever. It's now very poor. We'll be trying to correct those things over time and narcoleptic, you randomly fall asleep without any reason? That is potentially deadly. If we're in a vehicle, it can lead to a death. Elliot knows about that one all too well. So I think we've got to make sure that we stay as awake <laughs> as possible. Um, caffeinated chewing gum, let's go have some of you. We're looking at an early iron deficiency yet again, so we're going to be smashing back these multivitamins. It's still considered to be the same day, because 
our calories are still being tracked the same. Yeah, we're not quite at midnight yet, but it is night and that is a good time for us to be traveling. We're feeling fresh now. Let's look at having some of that clean water of ours before we chuck on our backpack here. I am definitely going to be leaving some things behind, but I think we're going to be heading out. Elliot, I would like for you to wake up if possible. And let's also just kind of check in on you and see how you're doing. I don't think we've missed any mutations overnight. Thankfully, Dusk does not have abysmal mana regeneration. Let's look at making a move, eh, brother? And of course, as I said, I will be sorting out our infantry here a little bit, leaving some things behind. Okay, and we're just going to be leaving those things here for the time being, carrying a little bit less with us. All right, let's get that plank in place. Wait for Elliot to move on out. We'll leave the plank there while we're out, just in case we need to make a quick dash back. But we're going to be trying to take it a little slower tonight, making our way on down towards the last man on earth shelter first of all so we're gonna have to be careful here we've got a portal and we've got spiders so it was relatively safe by the swamp i'm hoping we can make it there again without too much trouble but i'm just gonna have to keep on waiting for your boy to catch up we definitely don't want to be doing this alone so i am glad that we have him with us let's keep that long sword out dusk let's keep our wits about us so what I'm doing at the moment is just kind of moving in big strides like that and then just waiting for a bit, letting Elliot catch up. We've gotten a little bit too close to that section of the swamp, so let's just start going a little bit more to the east. Okay, here we go. We know this territory here, so waiting again. Yeah, there he is, there he is. Okay, let's just start making our way down. Okay, all right, away from the swampy waters we shall go we are now into the unknown but we're also in the middle of a field so i feel like that's at least a little bit safer for us going forwards we've spotted a ah a derelict shed here could be worth us checking that out we also want to be wary though because sometimes derelict sheds are inhabited so if we do go closer we'll want to keep our ears wide open dusk does have very good night sight not as good as elliot's and oh Okay, this shed is boarded up. Okay, that's interesting. Part of the roof has been collapsed. Let's just peek. Hello, is there anybody in here? Um, okay. We're gonna turn on our headlamp for a moment here. There we go. Not seeing anyone in there. Okay, all right. Well, it's somewhere that we can stay or shelter in should we need to. But for the moment, we're gonna keep on moving towards the shelter, which should be just to the south here. We wanna be very wary of mines or traps or anything else like that. It doesn't look like there's anything other than a locked door. This one is actually sealed shut. How interesting. Okay, um, all right, we're gonna make a, a note here. We're just gonna say locked. So we will either need a blowtorch to be able to get through there, or we're gonna need to get better at lock picking. <laughs> and I know I keep saying that's something that we're gonna do, but hey, we got that shed that's locked on the farm. So we can try and focus on that. For now though, I think we're gonna start making our way down towards this, not knowing exactly what it is. Okay, we're gonna try and stick in the field if we can though, just because I do feel a little bit more comfortable out in the open here, even if we can't actually even see anything. Well, we are entering the woods now, trying to weave between the trees, making our way towards this unknown location. But there's just something about it, something that is drawing these two towards it. What waits for us? Okay, well, um, webs, first of all. Interesting. And a rock floor, a webbing wall. Hmm, okay. Really don't know how to feel about that. Hey, Elliot, you're a web walker, right? You can move through webs. Oh boy, what are we looking at here? Well, we're looking at something that could be potentially incredibly flammable. Webbing walls all over the show. I'm tempted to drop our backpack here because if we end up in a fight, we'll need to just go for it like right away. We got the AR on our chest at the moment. Let's just leave the pack pack here for now, okay. Actually, before we do that, before we do that, because I was hearing <laughs> some activity already, we are gonna favorite this hiking backpack here. Because when we drop it, I think, I believe, it should mark itself on the map for us. Yeah, hiking backpack, 31 items. Okay, that's good. So it's just kind of south of this little weird smiley sandbar thing. Right, let's see if we can figure out what's making noise. I'm tempted to turn our light on for a moment here. Okay, there is an Edmontosaurus. And we can see some blood to the north here. 
let's have a look at you. A huge scaly dinosaur with hooves and a broad toothless beak. There are teeth deeper in its mouth. What does the blood belong to? It's not you because you're not bleeding. Let's just leave the light on for a little longer here. See if we can find the source of the blood. There's Camptosaurus that we're seeing in the dark all the way over here. Large feathered dinosaur with four strong legs, broad shoulders and a pointed beak. It moves slowly but with enormous strength. So let's not get whacked around by that enormous strength, eh? Demon Spiderlings. Well, hello there. Okay, and they're attacking these Eds. And they seem to be doing an okay job. Bleeding and poisoned. The spiderling here. Despite it being the size of a small dog, you can tell that this is a very young spider. Its red color is why you gave it the name. You've never seen this creature before in the cataclysm. It is quick and its large fangs drip with venom. Demon spiderlings. The color of demons. Okay, okay, well, let's maybe try and go around the other side of this here. And that is another demon spiderling. It is currently ignoring us though. It is a bit faster than us. I do wonder, I do wonder, Elliot, stay close. What would a mind hammer do to you? Hmm, let's see. A 10 in chance of failure? Bam, okay, we slam it and we get some good experience from doing that and oh, it's staggered. Let's slam it again, mind hammer, bam. Okay, the tingling sensation, not so great though. Wait and stop waiting, hulking hadrosaur. Yeah, Elliot. We do have company. Thank you, thank you. Spiders aren't the only threats we're facing here. A hulking hadrosaur, bulging, distended muscles. Let's turn off that light, eh? I feel like that's a good plan and let's go, Elias, now. Uh, okay, for shove, that might give us the time we need. Let's move, let's move, let's move and keep moving. Elliot, please stay with me. Let's wait. Okay, he's still with. He is still with. That's good. Let's just keep moving. Don't stop. Move through the trees and away. Because <laughs> while these two are capable, I feel like there's a little bit more going on there than we want to throw ourselves into right this very second. <sighs> okay. All right, get your breath back. I don't think we're being followed still. But a hulking hadrosaur, well, the only thing that we got going for us is that it is slow. <laughs> and I'm so glad we just ran into spiderlings as, well, there's a strong chance that there are other things there, other things that I am not so keen to meet. Although, you know, Dusk and Elliot, they don't know those dangers. And it's been a long time since I've played with magicalism. So, hey, those dangers may have changed for all I know. For now, though, we are going to try and continue on to our next goal, the cabin out here just to the west of Lincoln over here. We do also have the elf workshop out in the forest, but this, but that cabin, that's what we are looking for. Also, a tennis court, interesting. Okay, you got a ways to go, you two. Let's get going. Oh my gosh, we just fell asleep. I'm. We momentarily fell asleep. I don't know how long it was for. It's 12.22 at the moment. Okay. Oh, narcolepsy, you are bad. You are really bad. So I think we're going to be working on applied science because getting getting control of our mutations is going to be absolutely paramount now. Dusk, let's wait for your brother. Elliot, where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay, we had to double back quite a bit there. Are you, you good or are you sleeping? He also fell asleep. I think because uh, we <laughs> briefly fell asleep, he decided that he also wanted to do the same. Okay, we are close now though. Oh, what a cabin. I like the uh, concrete columns on the outside, but what are we hearing inside? We're hearing wumps. Oh, and yes, I do realize Dusk is missing something. Getting out of there was more important as was getting Elliot out of there as well. Dusk is fast when she isn't falling asleep. We have a note. I will be grabbing that. For now, we have Elliot on our side. We're hearing someone attacking in there. We're hearing a knife. Oh boy. Okay, well, that's more than I expected. We have a zombie, a zombie cop, a thorny shambler, and a decayed zombie on the other side here. So, getting ready. Dusk starts to strike down the zombie cop. We have to wait for that thorny shambler to get a little bit closer. Here we go, taking that down. Someone someone's here 
Oh, I mean, okay, there was a shady zombie there as well. Hello? Two more zombies? We can hear someone using a knife. Down here to the south? It's so hard to tell where that sound is. There's blood by the window. Zombie soldier? Maisha Landrum. Okay, Maisha, how are you looking? You're a thug. Great. Well, damn it. She's hostile. Elliot, well, you got your wish. Okay, what do we do? The woods can sense the murderous thoughts of Maisha. Perhaps they don't need to face her, though. Dusk tries to settle Elliot's mind. If they're quick, they can grab what they need, and they can get out. So, let's see what we can find here. And then, we go. Let's move, Elliot. Okay, ammunition? Good. The coin will also take. We should probably look at taking a backpack as well, even if it is just temporary. Let's put that leather backpack on. Sounds like the fighting might have, well, hasn't entirely stopped yet. Okay, nothing else up here. Let's continue on. Oh, okay, looks like we might have a little bit of a secret set up back there. That's a dive bag. We'll take that instead, thank you. Let's go and put the dive bag on our back dusk, take that energy cola, and the canned chicken. Okay. Next, I think we should just be able to haul that as is. We can, nothing behind it though. Okay, all right, as long as those doors remain closed, it means that we are good. Okay, damn, nothing behind that either. Let's just make sure that Elliot is sticking with us for now. Okay, nothing hidden under the sinks. No, and those doors just lead to the outside. Okay, whoa, okay. What do we have here? A beaded bracelet. Seems just like a normal set of prayer beads. Let's put them on anyway, and we'll just swap what side it's on. There we go. Okay, nothing down there. There's more fighting off towards the east, it sounds like. And in here, what have we got? Things to do with milk in an archery drill book. And we can see Maisha. She's standing down there by that soldier's corpse, currently ignoring us. She is unaware of where we are currently. We have not found, we have not found anything of use in this place yet, but I'm not giving up on it. Oh. We're at the wrong cabin. <laughs> the magicalism one's over here. Okay. Well, just raiding Maisha's cabin. Okay, let's get out. Let's get out and let's just leave her. As difficult as it is for Elliot to walk away from a fresh meal like that, tonight he is trusting his sister's judgment. And yeah, we could win that fight back there. And yes, she is a thug. She is a, a bandit. She will attack and kill any on sight, but we can't be 100% sure of that as a character. As a player, yes, for certain, but there's no reason for us to go out of our way to murder her, and so we're not going to. But hey, we are seeing some survivors out there in the wild, and oh, okay, definitely magicalism. Right, so we've got plants all around the outside, and we have crystallized mana on the table with a butter knife, which makes me think that maybe someone was trying to snort. <laughs> The crystallized mana. Let's just do a loop around and just see what we've got going on. We can get into the backyard here. Okay. Do we have a rose garden? Similar to what we've seen before. Let's see. Mugwort. Oh, okay. From the east, you hear a high-pitched hum. From the tennis court? Okay. That's interesting. Um, yeah, there's mugwort all the way down along here. Smells wonderful. Do we want to harvest some mugwort maybe not right now i am a little concerned about the high-pitched hum though what the heck is that gonna be okay elliot's hearing footsteps i i don't think that's us footsteps hmm okay could there be defenses here a golem maybe let's just be cautious moving around here we are going to have to get a way in here eventually and smashing a window while it's noisy it's a fast way to gain entrance We've got the water heater in here, probably. Okay, let's um, let's just stay on this side of the fence. I think that's going to be best for now. We are going to smash that window. Let's just clamber inside and do this quick if we can. Okay, um, just double checking. Nothing in there. Nothing in this room. Just a pillow. We've got crystallized mana. Seven lots of it. Please let that be a scroll. It's Time Magazine. Okay, well, I think we can identify scrolls a little easier. So if there is one around, we should be able to kind of notice the scrolliness of it. Damn it. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. Oh, okay. We've got a pickle. That's that's something and some hard cheese. Okay, we'll take that. We'll take that as a small victory. And the pickle, it's old. We'll probably just eat it now. There we go. Pickle on the go. Nothing special over here. A horror novel. Damn it. Okay, what's that in the corner there? It's just an indoor plant. Nothing. Not 
a thing. Well, that's disappointing. And it just shows how lucky we were to find that, um, that scroll in the first place. I think we are going to bash this door down. So let's go get our enhanced strength on, start to swing at this, just in case there's something else hidden in there. It doesn't look like that is the case though. So let's instead figure out what was going on with those footsteps then, eh? Okay, okay, we've spotted a shocker zombie, like an actual shocker, okay. Let's just catch our breath. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. Okay, and it's a lot that we don't necessarily have to deal with. Damn, so much of tonight's journey has been a bust. We don't even have our backpack as well. That is something I'm going to want to get. First of all though, Elliot, we just need to get out of here. And solemnly, we will mark this as explored. Also, we're gonna mark this as a danger. So yeah, thug, and a danger radius of one square. So yeah, dangerous area, there is a thug there. We know that there is someone that we don't want to tango with. Now, as for Elliot, we could take him up towards the elf workshop. There might be a safe place for him to stay while Dusk goes back to get her stuff. We just stepped on pseudo terrain. Okay, well, at least it doesn't uh, blast us into oblivion. Good to know, I suppose. And also, let's just hope that Elliot doesn't um, decide to try and snack on any of the elves in here. Okay, um, we're not hearing any activity at the moment. Is there anyone? Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, there are workshop elves here. Let's turn on our light. You can just trying to see if there is anyone special here. Nope, all just workshop elves. Elliot, I'm gonna tell you to, if I tell you to guard, are you going to just stay here? Yep. Okay, please don't attack anyone, please. I know you could take the workshop elves. I'm assuming you can, but please don't. Okay, do we actually have anything in this dive bag at the moment? One glass bottle of energy cola. I think we're just gonna down that. We're gonna down the energy cola right now, and then we're gonna drop off the dive bag. And then Dusk is going to get a move on. Okay, we are getting pretty close to the spot now. Our bag should be just underneath the weird smiley face. Dusk, in and out, hey? In and out, there it is. Okay, things actually do sound a little quieter here now. Is it, is it worth us trying to explore? No, it isn't. That's a Hadrosaurus zombie. We just managed to get our backpack on. So I think Hadrosaurs were probably attacking this spot and well, bad things happened. They died and they came back and they, they kept coming back to life and no doubt have slowly started to wear down the demon spiders that reside here. For now though, Dusk, um, yeah, we can probably stop the running, catch your breath, and let's actually stop concentrating on that strength. Oh boy. Okay. Well, she's well within her weight allowance at the moment. She's hungry. She's considered to be underweight yet again, and I think it's because we've been using a ton of calories again. <laughs> so let's start eating. Yeah, my gosh. Okay, she's going to need more than just that. All right, well, let's try and see if we can work our way back to the elves and no we are not gonna go that way let's just stick to the woods for now thank you Todd cat yes we're gonna stop moving what is a Todd cat hello oh it's from magicalism once used to its decomposed body this nightmarish cat with thick teeth and razor sharp claws seems to be looking around for things to play with though its head is of a feline it grins at you with oh it grins at us sadistically with a glint of cold demonic eyes Okay, I don't think I can feed you cat food, can I? No. Uh, the Todd cat leaps. Of course it does. Can we outpace you? It's, it's much faster than us, and if we run, it is slower than us. So, theoretically, we can get away from you. And I think we should try. I think, I think it's still on us at the moment. It must just be kind of trailing our smell. Okay, are we far enough away yet? I'm not sure about that. Oh, no, it's, it's certainly here. Okay. Oh boy, Tog Cat claws at our head. Okay, we can call out to Elliot. We can tell him to follow. Oh man, okay, this is bad. Elliot is on his way at the moment, but I don't think he's gonna open up any of those doors. So we might just have to try and go for them. We're gonna try and force shove this cat back. We've succeeded. Okay, we need to get over to one of these doors now. Elliot, I'm gonna tell you to move to a location. Please get out here. We're going to need your help. We're just gonna have to try and fight this thing with our backpack on. Um, I am tempted to try and see if we can do a mind hammer on it because I think that will do more damage than our blade will do alone. So 
Mind Hammer? Let's try. Okay. We hit it for 36 damage. Decent, but we can still see it's got a lot of health left. Maybe we just try and get in and close the door. Okay. For shove, we've got just enough to do it. Okay. Oh boy. Alright. Oh, it's out there still. Okay, how do you elves feel about Todd cats? Hmm? Demonic cats. Well, I know how I feel about it. We're gonna drop this hiking backpack. Elliot runs the Todd cat through. It's badly bleeding. Let's move up. It is currently grabbing onto Elliot. We need to start slashing at this thing. Okay, that's a lot of damage, but it's nearly dead. One more good strike should do it. Ah, uh, not quite. Oh my gosh. That was a lot of damage. Elliot, you're totally fine, aren't you? Yeah. Not a scratch. Not a scratch. And Elliot starts to heal Dusk as she starts to catch her breath. Okay, the elves carry on about their business as Dusk's wounds are seen to by her brother. What a night of activity. What a day. It's clear now that Dusk will need to try and start to purify both of them. Narcolepsy can and will get us killed. And unfortunately, we gained no magical advantages today. We gotta check, don't we? Who knows, there could still be things back at that demon spider nest. But it's a danger that right now, we'd best stay away from. And so, under the cover of night, these two will return back to their farm, back to their little fortress, where they will take their time to read, to learn, to conquer, the ever-changing genome. Legionnaires, I ask you all, if you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. As for now, I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay 